All right, let's go ahead and find the greatest common factor between these two expressions. So the first one I'm going to do is this 35x to the power 5y. And I, I'm just going to consider this 35 first. Let's go ahead and look at 35. And if I make a factor tree out of this, I can split this up. What two numbers multiply together to give me 35? Now we're excluding 1 because we could put an infinite number of 1's there. So let's look at non-1 uh, factors of 35, and that would give us 7 and 5. Both of these are prime, so when we, when we look at this, this would spit out a 7 times 5, and then we've got these 5x's multiplied as well, and then finally the y also. So all I'm doing is looking at each of the numbers being multiplied together here, or variables, and I've just expanded them. And what this does is it allows me to see if there are any common, and that's what we're looking for, common factors. Uh, if, if I can look at a factor in one and it's, it's paired up with a factor in the other, then they're common. And I can take that one single number as a common factor. Now, if that doesn't make sense, hopefully it will as we finish this problem off. So let's look now at 28x squared y cubed. And again, I'm looking for factors of these. If it's in exponential form, I'll expand them. So let's look at the 28. And 28 can be split up into 7 and 4. Now, you may have used 2 and 14 as well, uh, and that would be okay. And the 14 would split up. In this case, 7 is prime. So I can split the 4 up into 2 and 2, which are also prime. So 28x squared y cubed, the 28 would spit out 7 times 2 times 2. And then we would have that multiplied by 2x's. And that would be multiplied by 3y's. Now I like to usually look at this uh, or compare these vertically as you have as you see here. And I'm just looking for any numbers that are matching in both of these. So here I have the 7s that are common. So 7 is a common factor. I have this set of x's, which also is a common factor. I have this set of x's, which is a common factor. And this is all being multiplied together. And then I have these y's, which also is a common factor. So the greatest common factor between these two, because there are no other common factors between these two, my greatest common factor is 7 times x, we'll just make that x squared, times y. And that right there would be my final answer.